Hello everyone and good morning and greetings from the Celebrity Silhouette cruise ship. In this video here we're going to show you everything this cruise ship has to offer from the restaurants and the food, the drinks and the bars, all the activities and more. I go by the legend, joined by my wonderful girlfriend Molly and we're starting out here on the pool deck, a very very nice pool deck here in the Silhouette. And you got two pretty good sized pools, I love the bridge in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, four hot tubs, Lots and lots of seating. I love how some of the seating is under shade. Yes. They do go quickly though. Yesterday was a day at sea, every lounge was taken. Indeed. And there's a, up here, if you go to deck 14 above the pool, there's lots and lots of loungers as well. Now the pool deck is used quite a bit. There's gonna be a DJ in a little bit. There's a band out here pretty much every day. They do uh, games, ring toss, pool Olympics. Uh, there's musical bingo. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a big silent disco party out here one night in the evening. Last night there was a band playing at night. Um, so it's a very good pool deck. There's also a pool bar all the way over there, which is very important. On the back of the ship in deck 15 is where you'll find the long club. Those are some of my favorite chairs on the ship, those uh, rocking big comfy loungers. They are really comfortable. Um, there is a fine photography area over here, but it is called the long club because, well, there's a lawn. They do have a lawn. Really not used for a whole lot. They did have a movie in the evening one day. One night, yeah. They do have also cabanas that you can rent. Um, I believe the pricing on those from what I saw was if it's a port day, you could rent it for $100. On a sea day, it would be $250. Over here is an upcharge restaurant, the Long Club Grill. So if you want to eat some fancy food and do so outside, they, they do have, have a, a selection of steaks. Giant, giant uh, chair. Yeah. They do play games on the lawn. Like there's a bocce, bocce ball. ball. I think they had uh, team golf at one point or something like that. And you could watch uh, Red Bull shenanigans. Yeah, why not? And also in the long club area, there is a second upcharge restaurant. This one is called The Porch and it's more seafood based. I like the plants. Mm -hmm. My favorite part about the long club is you come all the way to the end, you come to the sunset bar. A very nice bar out here on the upper deck, all the way in the back of the ship. And we're in port today, but on sea days, you get wonderful, wonderful views from up here. Yeah, probably one of the best views on the ship, I think. Absolutely. And during sunset hour at the sunset hour bar, they normally have musicians playing out here. Mm -hmm. um, they do have their own specialty drink menu. I'm drinking a Pickford Punch. Molly is drinking something very interesting. Uh, marmalade Smash. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's like what Paddington would drink. <laughs> Paddington too is great. Yep. Be sure to watch your step. You don't want it to end up like that man losing your hat. No. And uh, this is also a tip. That table right there in between decks 14 and 15 is one of the best places on the ship to just sit and hang out. Cruise Line has really, really good chairs. And uh, up here in the Long Club, no exception. Look at these guys. Or how relaxing is this thing? I love that it has a little table for your drinks. Here's a jogging track up here on deck 14. One mile, that'll be eight laps. I really like the solarium here on deck 12. It's very peaceful. You got an indoor pool, two hot tubs, lounge chairs. Yeah, comfortable lounge chairs. Really cool fountain. The fountain lights up at night. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice section of the cruise ship. And also, like, if you have bad weather, like, you know, you're, you're kind of weather with the ship a little bit. The solarium area is also the spa cafe, which runs at lunchtime. It's a smoothie bar and also has a lot of like smaller, healthier options. And I was gonna say, Molly, that's your favorite right there. It looks like a, some sort of a frozen yogurt machine as well. Located right off the lobby on deck four is Craft Social. And this is the pub on board. It's the sports bar on board, the craft beer bar on board, the bourbon bar on board, um, lots of TVs. If you do look in your, your times guide that comes in the rooms, it will let you know what games are on. Uh, later on tonight, I, I want to come. Molly probably doesn't. The Knicks are playing. The ah. Knicks are playing really well right now. You can see some of the selection of beers down there. Really good selection, but I think you have to have the premium plan for a lot of drinks. Yeah. Um, speaking of the beverage plans on the ship, the premium plan will cover drinks up to $17. The regular plan, I think, is $11. Um, it really feels like more of an international beer bar than a, like a craft beer bar. Mm -hmm. You do have some kind of American craft stuff, but you know, the Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA. Really good beer. Yep. Uh, we're both drinking international beers. I got a Saison Duplant, like a $17 beer from Belgium. Molly's got one of my favorite beers, the, the nice Fraza Carter Hepperweizen. They do have a great selection of bourbon in here. But. But unfortunately, 
they're all above the threshold. Yeah, $19 or higher. Yeah, uh, they got some of my favorites too. Blanton's, uh, Mignor's, uh, Old Forester, like really, really nice stuff. But they do, uh, they do get up there in the price point. Uh, also, kudos to the, just the bars on board. They, uh, most of them have a really good liquor selection. They do have Terramana, which is of course the Rocks Tequila. Yeah, you do love that. Yep, they have that on, on the ship. And uh, obviously lots of TVs in here, whether it being the sports bar. Uh, they have comfortable couches and chairs. Yes, uh, you can also, there's food for purchase available in here. And then as I make my way towards the end, they've got a very fancy foosball table. Look at this fancy foosball table. Next four and five in the front of the ship, you will find the theater on board the Celebrity Silhouette. We're on a four night cruise and there are four different shows. This is really only used in the evening time. Mm -hmm. On night one, there was guest entertainers, a trio of ladies called Women in Rock, singing all like uh, female rock and roll songs. They also did a matinee show for a day at sea. Yeah, that was very nice. On day two, we got a big production show called Cosmopolitan, which is essentially uh, all the singers and dancers doing songs from various cities around the globe. Mm -hmm. They had jump ropers. Yeah, on uh, night three there was another guest entertainer, a uh, very entertaining male vocalist, very down to earth, very cool, a uh, really good show. And tonight's another big production show with the singers, dancers, aerialist called Life, which is kind of like just uplifting music. Uh, nice big theater, never had a problem finding a street seat, and they do have a couple of Right off the beautiful atrium, mm -hmm. on deck five you'll find Cafe El Baccio, which is going to be the coffee shop on board. Um, and you can get like coffee cocktails in here as well. Mm -hmm. My favorite is they have snacks. And it's complimentary. Yep. Uh, you got cookies up here. We're here in the morning right now. So it's danishes, blueberry muffins, cinnamon sugar donuts. They do change out. Yeah, uh, later in the day and later in the day. Later in the day it's cake. We had a really nice raspberry cheesecake yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, chocolate tartlet's also really good. And they've got some very, very comfy chairs. Deck five in the atrium area, there's the Gelateria. Now this is an upcharge restaurant, but if you've been on Celebrity Cruise Line before, as a welcome back gift, you get one free scoop. I got vanilla, and then Molly got strawberry. We're currently on deck five at the World Class Bar. Now this is the craft cocktail bar on board the ship. It's uh, where you get like the fanciest cocktails. Also, if you have the premium beverage plan, it's one where you, it really comes in handy. Yes. As all the drinks are $17 and above. Molly's drinking a rose water. I am drinking the Celebrity Number 10, which is uh, so Tangerine like number 10 gin and, and raspberries and other things. Um, they also have a really nice rum old fashioned up here. I and I love the American pie cocktail. Mm -hmm. But this uh, so bar only operates in the evening, about uh, five till one in the morning or somewhere yeah, the in there. Burn on, on deck seven and eight, right near the main bank of alligators, you've got this really cool section of the ship. Just a quiet seating area. I think it's called the hideaway or the nest, something like that. And just a really cool place to just hang out and probably read a book. Get some work done. Hey, right now, you and I are on deck three, which is home to the, the Grand Foyer Atrium. Mm -hmm. A lot of musicians are here at night. Yes, um, pretty much every no I would say from around like 6 p.m. or so on, mm -hmm. there's either a DJ or, or musicians. Uh, guest relations is down here. I will say this was home to what might have been my, my favorite activity we did on the ship. They had extreme bago, so it was like cornhole, and they set it up down here on the floor. And for the first round, you were on deck four. The second round, you went all the way up to deck five, and you were tossing the bean bags down. Yeah. That was so much fun. I got six points. Yeah, you did pretty well. I did. Winning person got ten. Mm -hmm. um, the shore excursions desk is also going to be down here. Now, my favorite thing in this area is probably the passport bar. Really mm -hmm. nice cocktail bar. Molly, you're drinking a really nice drink, the elderflower blush. Yes. I've got a spice berry smash is also nice. Um, it's kind of a quiet lounge. Runs some very long hours. As uh, Celebrity has some really comfy couches. Yep. This is no exception. And if you're curious where the single and solo meetup spot is, well, it's at the pig table. That pig table's great. Yes. I also like these little, uh, for lack of a better term, like chia pet bunny things. Look how cute they are. On deck 14 in the front of the ship, I think past this giant acorn. I'm now reading it. 
it's where you'll find the Sky Lounge. Uh, probably the biggest lounge on board the Celebrity Silhouette. A really, really nice lounge. Um, this is mainly used in the evening as the ship's nightclub. Um, there'll be some trivias in here in the evening. There'll be some activities like today. I think there's a like a hole-in-one golf competition and digital soccer. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what digital soccer is, but I'm very intrigued. Like Wii soccer? Th that's what I'm thinking. Um, and then it becomes, there. there's a band in here some nights. They do uh, special events a lot in here as well. Yes. Uh, tonight it's uh, where the, the Captain's Club celebration is. Mm -hmm. But a big lounge, really big lounge. And if you're on a sea day, while the bar might not be open till later, um, you get some wonderful, wonderful views. They do have a unique menu here. Yes, it's all... Um, uh, Constellations. Si yeah. Zodiac signs. Zodiac signs and a whole bunch of different cocktails. Molly, how was the nightclub? It was nice. Probably. I I don't remember any of it. <laughs> uh, they had the ABBA dance party. We were here yeah. for that. And then the nightclub. Mm-hmm. And oh, these chairs are great. Yeah, these chairs are really nice. Look at nice. those chairs, especially for like a sea day. Come out here, bring your drink with you. Just enjoy the views and the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Top notch. We're currently on deck four in what's called the entertainment court. This is used every evening around eight o'clock. There's a game show. Yes, everything from yes or no to majority rules. It's a really awkward kind of space. Yeah, because you have a lot of, uh, you know, a thousand people coming out of the theater and you're here with a pinch point right here of people playing a game show. Mm -hmm. um, to make that better, there is a bar, a very fancy bar. Yes. Short hours on this bar though. This bar will run like about 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. Which kind of makes sense because you're also the like theater bar. Yeah. Um, there's the future cruise desk where you can book your, your cruise vacation while on your cruise vacation. Mm-hmm. Get and some then, credit and on board. Yep. Um, and then this venue's interesting, uh, Quasar here. It is kind of like their secondary nightclub. Yes. And it's been used every night, but it's been used in odd forms. Like on night one of the cruise, there was like Millennium Anthems was on the, the TV, the, on the Times Guide. So we came in here and there was no DJ. It was just like hit the auto play and the bar wasn't open. Yeah, yesterday there was a DJ, but the bar has not been open the entire time we've been here. Yeah. Right off the entertainment court is Celebrity Central, which is kind of like the secondary theater on board. It is like the hidden venue, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. A lot of people, I don't think, realize that this is here. No, uh, the main use that I've seen it used for during our Fortnite cruise has been the ship's movie theater. Yes. Uh, interesting selection of movies as well. Yes, it has. On night one, they played Cool Runnings. Mm -hmm. um, today, they got Pirates of the Caribbean, that's World's End. They played uh, James Bond one day. Mm -hmm. They also have improv in here. Yeah, improv night. comedy. That was a lot of fun last night. Mm -hmm. But if you ever wanted to see a comedy show in here, I would say get there a little bit early. It is a small it, Yeah, it's venue. not the biggest venue you'll find on a cruise ship. Looking at right off the menu on deck four is my favorite bar on board the Silhouette, and that is the Martini Bar. It's an ice top martini bar. They have 22 different martinis on the menu. They're all pretty fabulous. Yeah, most of them are, uh, almost all of them are $17. So if you have the premium beverage package, it does cover them. I'm drinking a snowflake martini, and Molly is drinking a banana Foster's martini. Yes, I am. This has been our go to for an after dinner location because a lot of after dinner drinks. The bartenders here are also very talented. They do martinis with a big flair. Yes. And it's amazing. The main dining room on board the Silhouette is the Grand Cuvée. If you have my time dining like we do on our cruise, you're on deck four. If you have the set time dining, you'll be on deck three. And we're gonna walk you through what dinner is like here on our final night on the Silhouette. Uh, it's been pretty good so far. Now, um, you can make reservations on the app. If you don't make reservations, you gotta go and talk to somebody at Podium. Sometimes you get right in, sometimes you might get a pager like in an Applebee's and are told to come back when it buzzes. Yes. And here's what that main dining room looks like. Uh, on two different floors, a very large main dining room, really cool chandelier. I also love the uh, the centerpiece being this giant wine cellar they have. Look at that. All right, let's go have some dinner. And here's the menu on night four of our four night cruise. This side pretty much stays the same. That's some specialty cocktails as well as wines. Check out the starters. Anything in that box, the timeless starters, those were there every single night of your cruise. The ones on the left, those will change out on both the starters and the entrees. Okay. 
Yeah. So, Molly, one of your favorite things about Celebrity Cruise Line and the Silhouette is the bread service at dinner. Yes. Uh, every night you get three different types of bread. And the best part. Three different types of dip. And it changes throughout your cruise. Yeah, every night. There's always going to be the butter in the middle. It's like the normal butter. Tonight we got a creamy ranch chip and herb butter. And uh, it looks really good. The appetizer, of course, has arrived. Molly, you got a nice looking cream of broccoli soup. And I opted for the spiced duck. The main course has arrived. Molly got the pork loin. And I got the Barolo braised pork rib. The dessert menu has arrived. We got three desserts of the day. Apple tart curtain, olive oil cream roll, and uh, cherry fruit leaves. And the classics that are there every single night. And for dessert, Molly got the apple tart. Mm -hmm. I got a very good looking chocolate cheesecake. That looks amazing. On deck 12 is where you'll find the spa on board the Celebrity Silhouette. Now, Molly and I, we're not the biggest spa people, but we did take the tour to check things out. There is a large salon, so if you want to get your hair all done up for formal night. Also, there is an IV therapy available. Essentially, it's like a hangover cure. And the spa is also where you would get all of your massages and treatments done. It's also home to the Parisian Garden. Now, this is something you could buy a pass for, either a day pass or a length of cruise pass. And it gets you into where these heated loungers are, along with some sauna type activities. Uh, very, very relaxing in there. The spa area is also where you can find the gym on board. Now, the gym is available at no extra cost to cruise guests. And something I found really neat about the gym, they have Peloton bikes available. I know the Peloton's like a really expensive thing. I couldn't really own one because they're, they're really pricey. I don't want to spend that kind of money on an exercise bike. But it's fun to try it on a cruise ship like this. One little tip we would have for you is if you walk through the gym on deck 12, you get to this area and it's really nice, very quiet out here. You get to, uh, you'll be right in the front of the ship. Great to, uh, when sailing in the ports. Yeah. Dick Poor in the middle of the ship, you'll find the casino on board. A pretty good sized casino. I believe it's no smoking, which is really nice. Yes. Um, feels very modern. You've got tons of video poker. I don't know if I've ever Your seen. favorite. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this much video poker on a no, cruise ship. No, I've never seen that. Um, you do have all the table games over here. Some of the table games offered on this cruise ship, Texas Hold'em, Blackjack, Three Card Poker, Ultimate Texas Hold'em, Baccarat and Roulette, along with lots and lots of slot machines. Um, some things I like about the Celebrity Ships, if you are a returning cruiser, chances are you'll get some free match plays if you're part of the loyalty program. Um, also, different nights they will have free play as well. Mm -hmm. So we got, uh, I think, $5 in free play each, and then uh, two match plays from being part of the loyalty program. Mm -hmm. And we've lost $10. Yes, we have. Um, there is a good size casino bar that'll run obviously whenever the casino is running. Does they have, have some TVs? Yeah. But yeah, lots and lots of slot machines. I would say on our sailing, and we're on a sold out cruise, I've never found the casino to be too crowded. No. The tournament though was really crowded. Yes, they, they do different tournaments. like, And some interesting stuff too, like there was a uh, guest versus officers blackjack tournament yesterday. Yes. And I'm going to finish up the casino by showing off this game. They have a Price is Right Plinko slot machine. Look at that. Right next to the casino is the photo gallery. Um, not a ton of people taking pictures on this cruise ship, uh, photographers. But if you did take some, they'll be available for purchase here. You can also buy some GoPro stuff and camera stuff. On deck 14 in the back of the ship, you'll find the Ocean View Cafe which is the buffet on board. Wonderful buffet. It is a really nice buffet. And something I love about the buffet is lunch is so good. And much like if you went to a theme park, as soon as you get to the buffet, you get a map of where everything is on the buffet. They also have this for breakfast and dinner. All right, the most logical place to start, ice cream. They got soft serve ice cream and a lot of different flavors of hard pack ice cream. Looks amazing. Look at the blueberry frozen yogurt. A cherry brandy. Ooh. Looks really mm. good. Fun toppings for the ice cream. Strawberry sauce, chocolate sauce, caramel sauce. My personal favorite, rainbow sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Peanut M&M's, chocolate sprinkles, Reese's. Reese's, that's mine. I don't think that's how you spell Reese's. Ooh, I like the, uh, the Oreo pieces. Yeah, that's nice. And then there's cookies. And then we get to the pizza area. You can see them making up the pizzas fresh. Um, now, the buffet will be open until about one in the morning or so. And when you come late at night, 
The pizza is what's open. It's a pizza and pasta. Mm -hmm. Hello. Let's see, we got a cheese. Yeah, they always have cheese and pepperoni. Vegetables, pepperoni, and ham. Yeah. Something I love on the buffet is this right here. This is create your own pasta. And you come over here, you pick what kind of pasta you want. You pick any of these like 15 toppings. What kind of sauce you want. Do you want to add pesto in there? Oh, this is, it's a really good lunch. I like, to go, I like to go all the meats, white sauce, a little bit of pesto. Oh, it's so tasty and the garlic bread's nice too. They also have mm -hmm. And you guys make it, you're awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. It's really great. Molly, today for lunch is interesting. It's Euro Day, so they've got just like you know, you're, they carve it up. You put it on your pita. You top up your pita. Oh, spicy mayo. I think that I've never seen before. It's great. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Also for lunch, the biggest pot pie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what do we got over here? Fish cakes. Fish cake, braised beef goulash, collard greens with bacon and broccoli. We're now in another make your own station. This is make your own paninis with a, oh Molly, look, all the different types of cheese. I know, that's and great. Breads and meats. Oh, pretzel bread. My favorite type of bread. That is your favorite. We got the Indian section of the bay, lamb rogan josh, a chicken tandoori. That sounds good. Along with some dal. Uh, very reminiscent of like a Dollywood, a giant skillet. And let's see what do we got over here. All six different types of chutneys and pickles. Uh, not probably for me, but something very nice that they do have. Gluten-free vegetarian section. You got curry, okra stew, more vegetables, rice. Molly, this is one I don't think I've seen before. It's an entire buffet of hummus. Oh. Different types of hummus. Looks good though. There's a make your own Caesar salad station, as well as uh, different Asian dishes. I feel like the buffet never ends. I do like this area, the grill area, and it's all they, they just cook a whole bunch of steaks up and they serve them out. So, I mean, steak for lunch is a pretty good lunch, especially with chimichurri sauce. Yeah. Pork chop, chicken breast, tilapia, and French fries. There's always a carving station. Today it is Thanksgiving. Roast so, turkey. Roast turkey, gravy, potatoes, stuffing, Brussels sprouts. There's also a dessert area for those with dietary concerns. Right next to the fruit. But let's go far more unhealthy. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite stations. Yeah, the Mexican station. So you could get nachos and then you could load them up however you want. Including cheese sauce, free fried beans, and they also have quesadillas and fajitas. Today it is chicken fajitas. I feel like we're on hour 12 of the buffet segment, but look at these cakes. Vanilla cake, cassis cake. Oh, look at the white forest cake. And more cakes, strawberry cake, mango cake with chocolate shoes, pistachio pineapple, and look how big the Black Forest cake is. They look delicious. More cakes on the other side. Double chocolate cake and Dolce de Leche. Bay Area does have a couple of complimentary drink stations. Coffees, juices. I really like the fruit punch they offer here. And then lots of uh, different hot teas. Very important, you couldn't have a buffet without a bar, and they have a pretty good sized bar. They also do uh, coffees and espressos, cappuccinos in the morning. For now, we're going to go. Man, three different types of Gravlax, plain dill and blueberry. There's also a selection of cold salads, and then pre-made sandwiches. Ooh, beef and cheese. Now we're on deck five in the back of the ship. And this is an area we really haven't spent too much time. It's where a lot of the upcharge restaurants are. And I think this area is very, very unique. I love how it pumps in audio. Mm -hmm. Now, while it's mostly upcharge restaurants over here, there is a big lounge. This is the Ensemble Lounge. Um, again, another lounge with really, really comfy chairs. This lounge will have music in the evenings. There's been an acoustic guitar guy who's been really good. There's been a strings duo in here. It's also trivia. 
Yep, and trivia in the afternoon. Very popular. For yes, not a ton of seats in here. <laughs> Uh, the, re the retreat lounge is the special lounge for people staying in the suites. It is also for people that are like, I think if you're at the highest level of the loyalty program, you get in there as well. Murano is one of the upcharge restaurants, and uh, the upcharge restaurants on the ship are very expensive. Most of them cost you around like $55 to $60 to go to. And I mean, it looks good. I mean, I'm sure I would love Chateaubriand for two. Oh, you talked about that a lot yesterday. Oh, yeah. it's one of my favorite meals. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, a good bar, another bar with a specialty drink menu. I like the Tiki Old Fashioned. Mm -hmm. That's probably my favorite in here, but uh, you can never go wrong with a Cour Royale as well. You can see the drum set over here and lots of comfy chairs. Try to pick up the pace as we get to a couple more restaurants here at the end. And even if you don't want to go to these restaurants, it's just kind of cool to walk through and see some of the artwork and interesting stuff. Yeah. Now up here on the left is what I feel is one of the best specialty restaurants you'll find anywhere on a cruise ship. It's a very unique restaurant. Yes. On the left is going to be Cuisine La Petite Chef, which is a restaurant, a fine dining restaurant that uses projection mapping technology to make it look like a little chef is putting on a show for you on your table. I've eaten there before. It is wonderful. He cooks something on the projection and then the lights go out and the waiters bring out the item that he cooked. It is so much fun. And there's different menus, I believe, as well. Yeah, and different and, days have different menus. And different menus. menus have different shows. Mm -hmm. um, if you've never done it before, I love this restaurant. It's so much fun. Uh, Blue over here, that's the restaurant for people staying, I believe, in aqua class. Mm -hmm. You would have, uh, you know, probably a little bit nicer than the main dining room menu in here. And then the Tuscan Grill is up last with this really, really cool entrance. Oh, I love the entrance too. Yes, and this I believe is um, like an Italian steakhouse. So you could get lasagna, you could get filet mignon. Homemade pasta, ooh. There we go, and that's a lot of the specialty restaurants here on five. On deck five, they do have an outdoor promenade deck. Not the prettiest one of these you'll ever find as it is a lot of lifeboats. But if you know, you had a couple drinks at the bar, maybe the sea's not feeling so hot. They do have chairs though. Pat yeah, chairs. So some nice chairs. And you come out here and, you know, taking the ocean views a little bit. Located one level up from the pool deck, you get the mast grill, which runs in the afternoons. And this is going to be kind of your, your simple grill. It's also a spur bar to so get beers and wine. Which is great when the bar downstairs is crowded. Just come up here. Yeah, there's also hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries. Also, the Mass Grill is home to another beverage station and soft serve ice cream. What you need, it's very warm out today. Yes. Also, located above the pool deck, you do have the Mass Bar. It's a bar that will run very long hours. All the way on top of the ship, in the front of the ship, you get to the Retreat Sun Deck, a special area reserved only for guests staying in suites. It is two levels. I believe they have their own bar. And that's all I could show you because we're staying in an interior room. Cue on the upper level of the retreat sun deck. You know, on deck 15 is where you'll find the kids clubs on board. You got the X club for teens. Uh, the annex, which just looks like beanbag chairs. And then camp and see for the kids. Now Molly and I, we're not children. So that's really all we can tell you about this one. On decks 10 and 11, you'll find the library on board right by the main elevators. It's a really, really big library. Um, nice comfy chairs, another good place, a nice quiet place to get some work done, read a book. And they have a lot of books. But Molly, one book they do not have, Experience the Point, an official guidebook to Cedar Point, written by our own Andrew Hyde. Well, now they do. Right next to Ireland. And this coconut thing is Hyde's book. Come find it. Uh, if you're into more upscale shopping, Deck 5 is where you want to be. I love the elephant with the crown. Yes, I like how he's just peacefully sitting on the bench. This is where you'll find the art gallery. Um, one of the larger art galleries I think I've seen on a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And the artwork that's changed, like we were here last night looking at some stuff, and there's different pictures today. It also has all your traditional art scavenger hunts, guess the weight. Art auctions. Art, yep. Hey, also, I think it's the first time I've seen an art gallery with its own Jumbotron. Mm-hmm. Very different. Yep. And then 
this is also where you get what kind of feels like a fancy mall. Yes, it's your higher end shops. Yeah, I mean, this is like designer purses, watches, jewelry, things I both wouldn't want or be able to afford. But it's always interesting to look at. Yeah, they, I mean, and people have been buying stuff. Like you see yep. bags, you see people in these shops. Right now we're in port, so the shops are not open at the moment. Here's your big fancy wash tour. More jewelry. And it's also it's laid out interesting too. Like this watch store here is just kind of open mm -hmm. for all of your fancy watches. Lots of watches. And then the, the F shop over here. And that's the, the shopping area. In the shopping area on deck five is also the Celebrity Eye Lounge. So if like uh, your phone broke and you mm -hmm. need to use the internet, you could use one of these. Also, they sell some electronics in here as well. Right now I'm on deck five with some interesting artwork. Like uh, canaries? Yes, Different some cages, and then this one's just on a slideshow for some reason. Uh, that one is, somebody needs to check that one out. <laughs> and this is right next to Sushi on Five. It's gonna be an upcharge restaurant. I believe it runs lunch and dinner. It's a la carte. Yep. So it's gonna come in at a cheaper price point than you know your cuisines or your Tuscan grills. Um, they do have a nice selection of like Asian beers and stuff in here. And uh, it's not only sushi products, there is gonna be some hot entrees as well. It looks like most things around, you know, 10 bucks. Not quite sure what this will be used for, but there is a concierge and captain's club desk here on deck five. So I guess if you have any questions about the loyalty program, maybe they'll answer them in there. On deck four, at least from the casino, you get more shops. And these are gonna be a, more, a little bit more on the affordable side than like the ones upstairs. They're the logo shop. Yeah, so it's the silhouette shop where you get a t-shirt from the various ports of call, along with anything you want with either celebrity on it or the silhouette. They'll all be available in these shops. Very nice towels. Yeah, the towels are nice. Uh, ship model. One thing we haven't seen that we normally buy uh, is the ship ornament. Yeah. Good thing we already have it. Yeah. A very nice t-shirt. Like, they're, they're multiple t-shirts for like, yep, I see myself wearing that. Mm -hmm. Nice tumblers. Yeah. I like the, uh, that's nice, like the Getty style one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More t-shirts over here. Stats and everything. That's fancy. Look at this. Yeah, that button down. Yeah. That's really nice. You do have the uh, the clip and drinks from our buddies over at Logo Pegs. Swim trunks. In case you forgot swim trunks. More nice polos and jackets. Once I turn the corner here, well, then we go into like duty free liquor and tobacco products. I think this this one's my favorite because it's candy, 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 candy. Candy, 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 toothbrushes. It's very important to have a toothbrush if you're drinking that much, uh, eating that much candy. And also, like, this is where they'll have some toilet treats as well. Okay. And finishing up, here was our cabin. We were in 8179, an interior cabin, but a really good size interior cabin. Big old couch, fairly comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, big old bed. I hate how it's round, though. Yes, especially I'm not the best sleeper, so then I kind of sleep diagonally to stay, and that doesn't go over well. No, it does not. Uh, it did take us a day or two to figure out that those things were actually cabinets mm -hmm. and more storage. You get one big closet. Mm -hmm. Three drawers. Three drawers, a safe, and a fridge. Uh, the TV was pretty solid. TV had about 20 complimentary on-demand movie channels. It or does. complimentary on-demand movies. It does move so you can face it towards the bed. Little desk or vanity area. And the bathroom, a pretty nice cruise ship bathroom, I would say. Mm -hmm. A very nice shower. Interesting, you get shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. Um, and a lot of room in the bathroom as well. Do you have the terrifying bathroom cruise ship noise? And that'll do it for our time on the Celebrity Silhouette. I had a really nice time on our four night cruise, a very, very nice cruise. A little bit of information about this cruise. For two, for Molly and I to both go on the cruise, after taxes and fees, we bought a package that included Wi-Fi, gratuity, and the uh, regular beverage plan. It was about thirteen hundred for the two of us, and that included a hundred dollar onboard credit. Now, uh, thinking back on the cruise, Molly, what were some of your favorite parts? The bread service at uh, dinner, really the great. Dips. I liked the dips uh, and how they change. Yeah, I love the lunch buffet. Mm -hmm. 
top quality stuff in that lunch buffet. Oh, big selection. Same with the liquors and oh the man, chances. Yeah. Oh, such good liquor selection on the ship. I wish I would have seen more uh, more whiskeys on that premium package though. Yeah. I mean, they still had you know some of the good stuff, but not not all of it. A lot of musicians and entertainers. That, I was really impressed with that. You know, up we've got a comedian, we've got an improv team, we've got you know two different headliner acts, a big musical stage shows, all these bands. It was really really fun. Uh, I'm, I loved Extreme Bago throwing uh, bean bags off of a balcony, mm -hmm. uh, two stories up. Pretty um, fun. I also think the level of service is uh, was great. Yeah, the, the staff works very hard. They're very good at what they do. And it's an improved level of service over other cruise lines, I would definitely say. Um, I like the treats at the Cafe El Baccio. Uh, walk by and like, oh, what are the cakes today? Ooh, raspberry cheesecake? I'm in. I loved uh, how modern the ship looked and it was felt very clean. Yeah, uh, free on-demand movies in the room. Always love that. I don't have to watch real TV. I got to put something on and kind of stay on that vacation mode. The mozzarella sticks in the main dining room for lunch. Oh, really nice. Like, so good. Like, Handmade bread and a oh. giant, giant stick of mm -hmm. mozzarella cheese. And I like that as soon as you get on board the ship, you can come to your cabin. It won't be ready, but you could drop any carry-on bags off at that time. Now that does kind of lead to a down because you have to be out of your stateroom by 7.30 in the morning. That's the earliest I've ever seen on a cruise ship. I am not looking forward to that tomorrow no. at all. Um, uh, other things I did not like was, um, well, I love the buffet for lunchtime and breakfast time. I think your dinner buffet and your late night buffet wasn't as good as the standard set during the other two. Agreed. Uh, the ship also went through a refurb, I think, in 2020, mm -hmm. and they added the outdoor movie screen to on the lawn, the lawn club, club, but they never used it. They used it one time. Yep. On our Fortnite cruise, they used it once, and the rest of the time was just showing, like, like Red Bull TV. Yeah, it seemed very weird. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, this was a very full ship, and with full ships, you occasionally get lines for bars, and some bars don't really accommodate people as well. So, like, our favorite bar was that Martini Bar, and sometimes you have to wait a long time to get a drink, and there were, like, two people deep at the bar, which makes it uncomfortable to sit down. Go uh, I mean, great drinks. Yeah. I, I think I had 15 throughout the course of the, the cruise, but that was a... Uh, it was always busy. Kind of going off that, you can't check into dinner on the app. You have to physically go there. They'll give you a pager. They'll give you a kind of wait list. Yeah, I really wish like the technology is there. Like uh, Carnival Cruise Line does it on their app. You can easily do that on the app. Yeah. And check in from anywhere, and it'll give you a uh, you know wait time. Um, the only other thing I would say I did not like, I feel like this ship is a, they don't push them, but it's a lot of upcharge stuff, like, up, here's the shop, here's the casino, here's the, up, if you're a suites, you go here, if you're, you know, concierge class, you go here, and I, I feel like there's a lot of that, ship within yeah. a ship kind of thing, and uh, you want to do this, 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 and this, extra money, extra money, extra money. Yeah, there's a lot of places that you can't go without those areas, mm -hmm. but I do like how they have the upscale dining in a certain location so you never have to walk by that That's that true. isn't very nice absolutely it's kind of out of sight out of mind a bit mm -hmm. all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about the celebrity silhouette let us know in the comments section below and we'll do our best to get back to you and uh, thank you very much for watching these videos you guys didn't watch videos like this we couldn't go on that many cruise ships now we've got to uh, pack out everything because we got to be out of here by 7 30. thanks for watching